I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett, coaching you to work faith positive and increase your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more. This week we're talking about how you can get out of your work prison. Cheerfully pleasing God is the main thing, Paul writes, and that's what we are to do, regardless of our conditions. That's from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9. When I speak to business groups and lead conferences and we get to the third core practice of a faith positive work style believe, I ask this question, why do you work? And the looks I get back are priceless. The most common is what? And the most common first out loud response is to pay my bills, which is usually accompanied by this unspoken, what did you think? So was that your first thought? Is that it? I ask as a follow-up question. And there's always one person who says, because God called me to, and that's when the conversation gets interesting. So what about you? Why do you work? There's a reason two thirds to three fourths of Americans are dissatisfied at work, spending 70% of their waking hours in misery. The only reason they work is to pay bills and they lock themselves into this work prison of I owe, I owe, so off to work I go. And yet they hold the key to their own release. They just refuse to use it. So what is this key to getting out of your work prison? The apostle Paul was locked in prison when he wrote to his Christian business friends in Corinth. He told them how to work for satisfaction beyond the limiting factors of the obvious. He gave them one thing to do to get out of their work prison. Cheerfully please God first regardless. Now what did Paul mean? Please God first. You know, the distractions are multiple. Coworkers tell you what to do, pretending that this is what they'd really do if it were them, and yet it isn't theirs to do, and they don't really have a clue. The voice of fear whispers in your ear, how will you pay the bills, the mortgage, if it all flops? The deceiver, the devil, wants to be pleased first. Please, God first sounds like a really good Bible study answer, and yet it works. Remember now, Paul's in prison singing hymns and writing letters. His office is cramped and cold. Now the prisoners must be telling him to shut up. And then you know the guards are yelling, stop it. Please God first is still his mantra. He regards his primary relationship with God and everyone else next. He works to please God first. So you want a why you work answer beyond just to pay the bills? Please God first. Next, Paul says, cheerfully please God first. Paul says, do it with a smile in your heart, happy about the opportunity to work with excellence as for Christ himself. So do you remember when you got in a fight with your sibling and your mom made you hug each other and make up? What kind of hug was it? Was it just half-hearted, barely touching with a whispered, sorry? Not exactly cheerful, was it? You know, it's one thing to please God, it's another to do it cheerfully. Work as if Jesus sits beside you at the desk, stands beside you at the counter, or is riding along with you. He is, you know. The corners of his mouth are curling up, ready to smile on you. So secondly, cheerfully please God first. Cheerfully please God first, regardless, is the third thing Paul tells us to do. When God calls you to do something at work that's in your comfort zone, you step right up and you do it, right? No worries, you think, I've got this. But what about when it's just beyond your comfort zone? Even radical compared to the company's current modus operandi, do you step up or do you step back? I know work conditions can color your response to cheerfully pleasing God first. Waiting until conditions are perfect can mean you fail to follow God's plan because does it ever get perfect? You capitulate to pleasing others first and allow the conditions to control your actions. Friends, there is no tomorrow. There is only today. Sure, there are better times than others. And yet, remember, God's gone ahead of you to prepare the fullness of time, that just right moment when you're to step up regardless of the conditions. So do you really want to get out of your work prison and discover a better reason to work than to pay bills? And listen for that still, small, whispering voice nudging you to work faith positive. Follow it and cheerfully please God first regardless coaching you to work faith positive and increase your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more. I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett. Catch every episode of Faith Positive TV when you subscribe to the Faith Positive YouTube channel.